Hi boys and girls, it's Riley doing tutorial reviews and crafts with CheeseThief.com. And today we are opening up this Barbie Spaghetti Chef toy. Look at how cute this is. Two colors of dough included to make the spaghetti. So let's open it up and see what's in Open the set and the set is so adorable. So first it comes with this really cute little stove top and oven. And then it comes with um, this place where you can put all your food. And so let's look. So it comes with this little spaghetti server. So you can scoop up your spaghetti from this little pot. So you, this pot is so cool. And it also has a little teeny tiny fork there. So let's put the fork right here. And then you can actually hang your utensils like that. So I'm going to hang my little spaghetti super. And when your pasta is hot, you add a little pair of tongs here. Like that. And it comes with a little strainer for your spaghetti. So this gift set is where you can make your own spaghetti. So we'll put the little strainer over there. A little plate or bowl. It's kind of like a slash bowl slash plate. So put your spaghetti in a little cup. Mmm. We should be putting that cup some orange juice. And this little oven mitt. So this oven mitt fits on the Barbie. So here we have our chef Barbie. And she is beautiful with her pretty blonde hair and wearing her really pretty chef outfit. So there she is. Put her right here. Let's see if we can stand her up. So we're standing her up right there. And let's see if I can put her oven mitt on without tipping her over. Look at that. So the oven mitt fits on her hand. So she's ready. And we'll put the spaghetti pot on the stove top. And well, we have to make some spaghetti, don't we? So we have this cool little spaghetti maker. And then if you can put Play-Doh in here to make your spaghetti. And who are we making spaghetti for today? Let's make spaghetti for Chelsea. So this is our rockin' Chelsea with our hot pink hair. And this is probably Barbie's little niece saying, can you make me some spaghetti? I am so hungry. So let's see, let's have Chelsea just stand right here. So I have this little refrigerator that's not part of a set, it's part of my dollhouse, but that'll be perfect for Chelsea to help cook. Chelsea, can you grab some, some Play-Doh for the spaghetti? So the set came with a little Play-Doh, so let's open up the refrigerator. And then we're gonna grab some yellow Play-Doh to make the spaghetti noodles. Bring it to mommy. We bring that spaghetti, that spaghetti to mommy. And then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna put our Play-Doh into the spaghetti. You don't need that much because like it only it doesn't really fit that much. We just wanna shut, put a little bit in there. You can only put a little bit at a time and then squeeze it out. Let's try it. So you see it coming out. So what do we have to do? We have to put it into this little spaghetti pot. So let's put it up here. And we're going to squeeze the spaghetti. It kind of looks like french fries there. Into the spaghetti pot. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Do you see the little stringy spaghetti? This is so cool. So to get the spaghetti out, you just lift this up and it cuts your spaghetti. Look at that. Now let's put the spaghetti into the pot so we can boil it. So we're boiling. Little Chef Barbie is boiling, boiling, boiling. And now that the spaghetti is done, what do we have to do? We have to take the spaghetti and then we're going to put it into the strainer and strain out all the water. So, sh so we strain out all the water here. Sh sh and now what do we do? We have to plate the spaghetti nice and pretty. So we're going to just take this little plate and then let's see if we can separate the noodles. They may, oh look, we can separate the noodles. So we're going to put some of the noodles on this plate. I'm going to put some of the noodles on this plate. Mmm, that spaghetti looks delicious. But what is spaghetti without meatballs? Let's have Chelsea go over and get some meatballs. So we're going to get the red plate over here and bring it over. And to make meatballs, you're just going to roll it into a ball. So we're just going to take our red Play-Doh and we're just going to roll it into the ball. And we're going to stick it on top of our plate of spaghetti. Mmm, who loves spaghetti and meatballs? I love spaghetti and meatballs. Reminds me of the song, On Top of Old Spaghetti. Do you guys know that song? When it's all covered with cheese and then someone loses their meatball when somebody sneezes at you! Oh no! We don't want the little meatball to roll off now, do we? So there, and... I forgot to use our little utensils to scoop out the spaghetti, but we could have done that too. And what, what else do we have in our little refrigerator? We have this little soda. So we can pour the little soda into a cup. This didn't come with us. This came with my little Barbie car. So, this little soda. Look at it. She says Coca-Cola on there. So that little soda there. You know what would make this kitchen so perfect? A little mixer. I bought you a new mixer for your kitchen, Rapun uh, Barbie. Oh, perfect. Look at that, Mixie and Maxie just sitting right there. 
And what else can we put in the kitchen? Oh, let's put cherry tomato because you can't make a uh, spaghetti sauce without tomatoes. So we'll put cherry tomato in there. And here are some peas. These are sweet peas. And that one can go into the kitchen too. Let's put that in the spaghetti sauce. Hmm, and this is egg chic. Egg chic doesn't go into the spaghetti sauce because who eats their spaghetti with eggs? But we have to have dessert with Fifi Fruit Tart. Yay! Let's put Fifi Fruit Tart in the kitchen. And who likes french fries? So here's peely potatoes so we can make some french fries. And we don't have enough vegetables, so let's put in some asparagus into our spaghetti. Does that sound good or does that sound gross? Some sundae for dessert. Yummy! What else do we going to do with the set? I noticed that Barbie is gonna go out tonight. After cooking her long meal, she wants to go out, so she needs to borrow a dress. And luckily, Rapunzel says, I have a dress for you to borrow. You can borrow this princess's dress. Let's see who Rapunzel is gonna let, uh, what dress Rapunzel's gonna let her borrow. She says, Barbie, I have the perfect dress for you. Do you wanna wear this outfit? Whose dress is that? This outfit. Does anyone know which princess this outfit belongs to? Well, let's change this Barbie into this beautiful dress and see how she looks. Do you like my outfit, Rapunzel? Do you think it's pretty? Um, Barbie, you're supposed to put on the dress too. I don't think that shirt really matches with the pants. Oh, <laughs> I actually think it looks pretty good. But yeah, let's put on the skirt too. Ah. Oh, Barbie, you look wonderful in that dress. Unfortunately, she's still wearing these shoes. These are very sensible sh uh, chef shoes, but we don't have high heels for Barbie. And Barbie can't wear high heels because you see her foot is flat. So, she, uh, Rapunzel's feet are curved, so they were, our feet are actually meant to wear high heels. Oh, it's okay. I like these shoes. They're comfortable. They help me when I cook. So, whose dress is this? This must be Princess Anna's dress. Well, let's go see if we can play a trick on Princess Elsa. And we're just gonna hide and pretend that this is Princess Anna. That would be so funny, huh? Well, stay tuned for that episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for my big Shopkins giveaway. Thanks, and bye now.